everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Uh, today we are looking at elections but not uh, in the political sense of elections in the US and the UK. We're looking at them only as they might affect Harry and Meghan. Two related stories and the first one the one I'm reading on now is that allegedly the Parkles are in a panic about the prospect of Donald Trump coming back into power in November. They are worried sick, to quote the article, uh, that Trump will kick them out. He apparently has promised to deport them uh, if um, Harry is found to have lied on his visa application about his drug use. And he has said that um, if he becomes president again, he will kick Harry and, well, herself, she would have to go to, he would kick them out, deport them. Apparently they are worried sick about this and are making contingency plans that would see them fleeing the United States with their children. Uh, <clears throat> well, with their alleged children, shall we say. I have the Lunar Soul Tarot on the tarot table for this one. And we're going to have a quick look and we're going to see, are they really worried sick? Uh, how does Donald Trump feel about them right now? He's got his own problems. I would say that Harry and Meghan probably aren't that high on his agenda right now. Uh, he's got big problems. And uh, there is a card on the floor and uh, it was the nine of discs, nine of pentacles. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what he feels about the situation. Uh, we will ask as well where they would flee to. Nigeria, Malta, Canada, New Zealand, back to Blighty. We're going to look at that in the next one. And uh, outcome, little five card reading, outcome. Are they going to be able to say, stay safely in Montecito or are the Parkles going to be on the run soon with Archie and Lilibet and perhaps Doria and Marcus and the rest of the gang, the crew, the motley crew. Bit of snark and let's remind you it is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It is all just my opinion and all just speculation. I just read energy here, archetypal energy, of course, because we're dealing with the archetypal family and disclaimer in the box below. I think we have some life in these cards. Let's see how worried they really are. What does Donald Trump really think about them? Where would they go? And will they be packing their suitcases, those rescue chickens, whatever else they have collected, quite an extensive wardrobe. And uh, well, for her anyway, not for him. And uh, have to flee on someone's private jet as they've done already, at least once. We have the two of swords. Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. That is the underlying energy, the two of swords. A turning point, a crossroads. And where to and what will we do? It does give me the sense that they are thinking about this and deliberating. They are... Um, uh, panic is probably a bit strong, but we're going to ask later about that. This is underlying energy. So this is telling me that this is something that's on their minds. Swords are about swords and they are conflicted about it. They are confused. They don't know which way they would turn or they should turn. Should Donald Trump actually make it back into the White House, then they have a problem on their hands and they would have to choose and it would be a difficult choice. It would be very difficult for them, despite that very strong Nigerian ancestry that Megan has discovered, it would be difficult for them to decide where to go. Of course, the call of Blighty is strong for Harry, as we are hearing relentlessly, even though we are now not allowed to comment on um, articles in the New York Post about it anymore but there it is two of swords choice time and uh, neither neither choice is, looks particularly good for them with that two of swords uh, so the actual situation we're dealing with right now oh we're dealing with a wheel of fortune a reversal of fortune a setback a surprise setback bad luck a run of bad luck 
this card has been showing up in reverse and it does tell me that the particles are under some sort of perhaps bad astrology. I haven't um, looked at any astrologers in particular lately to see what they're saying about the particles. Uh, but it does seem, I suspect um, Harry might be under some sort of Saturn influence. Actually, I think his son might be um, under, uh, under some pressure from Saturn at the moment. That's my um, very uninformed take on the situation but that's just everything going against them and now comes Donald Trump well yeah as I say he you know I, I have my doubts about whether he will even be in the running uh, in November but that's not what we're talking about now we're talking about the park halls and their feelings and what is going on and what is going on is setback after setback after setback so are they in a panic and worried sick as this article has claimed i think it's from the express oh the hermit has been he is worried he is the one who's anxious about this because of course it all comes back to him he is the one that would have signed and submitted that visa application even if someone else filled it in can't remember who went into the gruesome details probably the royal grift uh, went into how these visa applications are submitted so even if some minion uh, actually filled in the application Harry would be the one that would have to press the submit button the sign and submit button so it's on him there's the hermit and the hermit is the one questing and seeking and wondering what he's going to do and who will help him because it's also if you can't find the answers within yourself with a hermit card it's very much who will help me who will advise me who will tell me what to do the hermit so i don't think she's worried well they can't kick her out can they they can't deport their own citizen but they can certainly get shot of him and it's certainly something that he is concerned about very interesting the hermit his 40th birthday coming up and it looks like it might be quite a bleak birthday for the has-been, even though they seem to have already sold the story, the photos, the video footage to People magazine from something I saw in the last few days. I see so much, it's hard to keep track of all the things that I see. But we do our best. There is the hermit. Tell me about Donald Trump now. Is this, what, how does he feel about the park halls? And is uh, deportation something that's on his mind? Five of Wands in reverse. Uh, the fighting card, conflict, uh, climbing the greasy pole, uh, competing, over competitive. Uh, my sense of this card, though, is that the, the last thing he's thinking about right now is the park halls. Um, it, coming through quite strongly in that five of wands in reverse that he, he's feeling himself now defeated and um, kind of lost his um, lost his fire and his energy uh, right now I'm not really following any of that I see the headlines I move straight past um, I just wonder what has become of our leaders in the modern world wherever you look they seem to be a disgraceful despicable bunch uh, but the five of wands for me in reverse is more about his state of mind about himself than about the parkles but either way it's a card of defeat and a sort of a climb down the five of wands so even if he made this uh, bold announcement and uh, threatened to do this i think that he would climb down from this if he were to find himself in the oval office in november or january whenever he actually would take office uh, where would they go they're apparently making contingency plans to flee packing their suitcases suitcases at the door and a private jet waiting on the runway where would they go two of cups 
That's a very funny card because it's telling me immediately South Africa. And uh, I have a reason for saying that. It's the rainbow nation. We did go through a, uh, a brief sort of honeymoon phase when democracy finally landed properly in this country 30 years ago when we were called the rainbow nation. And there you can see the, um, the various races coming together in a harmonious way and... Uh, unfortunately, 30 years later, not so much. Um, it could be the dark cloud uh, nation. But there we have the two of cups and the rainbow. Very clear that South Africa would be on his list of places to go. Can't go back to the UK because everyone hates him. And um, Canada, I think, burnt his bridges there. I think New Zealand, no. Nah. Uh, certainly wouldn't really want to go to Nigeria or Malta. That would be where she would go. Ha ha, being snarky. South Africa. There was always talk. And when their first unhappiness was expressed, um, there was talk of them going to stay in South Africa or coming to stay, seeing as I'm here in South Africa, coming to stay in South Africa for six months or so to give them time to think and figure out their future. And that was quickly nixed. Oh, no, it was far too dangerous for her. She was having none of it. Africa, never. California was where her heart was. She's a Californian girl. She wanted straight back to Hollywood. Very clear to me. Very, very. Prince William, of course, is coming to South Africa, I think, in November for the Earthshot Awards. Just by the way. Uh, are the Parkles going to have to flee? Mm, I don't think so. Not with the three of discs. It's the wor it's a working together card, the collaboration card, and um, <laughs> it's quite interesting because there they are. There he is, very clearly. You've got far too much hair on top. There she is in her little skimpy dress, <laughs> and there is um, somebody, some poor unfortunate, who's being told what to do. Um, the only thing that you might get from this card, it's the working together. It's not um, a, a, a disappearing in the night. That would be Seven of Swords. The only thing that this card might indicate is that they might actually take some time out to live somewhere else for a while uh, as uh, while they work on something. There was going to be the Netflix documentary and um, now the African Park debacle has just got worse and worse. Uh, I doubt very much that Netflix wants a documentary from Harry about Africa and wildlife and conservation and all of that stuff. But they could go somewhere exotic and work on something because there is nothing left for them in California or equally in the UK. Uh, so there they go off in there you can see it's quite amusing how pale he is and ginger and um, it'll just add a bit of sunburn and I think we're good to go there and as I say much bolder uh, so it's possible that this contingency planning is not inspired so much by Donald and his threats of deportation but by their own failure in the US and in the UK because as I say nobody wants them back in the UK so that is interesting that's something to uh, keep our eye on and uh, brace yourselves fellow South Africans because I think it's very high on our hermits list of um, possible destinations oh dear that's a reading thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one